want to do. I want to talk today about fasting. And um, I'm actually on, what's today? Today like the third. I'm actually on day 63 of mine. Hello, cakes. Cakes, chasm. <laughs> That's a funny name. I like that. So today I want to talk real quickly about fasting. A lot of people have been reaching out to me via email, uh, which product they should purchase on my website. And um, and I was, I'm definitely going to send you to the detox products because fasting is so important. Right now I'm on day 63 of a 90 day phase. And man, I wish somebody would have been there to tell me, somebody that looked like me that was eating electrified foods like me that um, had the same type sensitivity or relationship with the sun like me, you know, had same mm, background like me, you know, I just wish that I had a me. And that's the only reason why I like to share with you all, for those people who, who need a me, you know, who need somebody to help guide them through this journey of health and wellness, who may be wearing glasses, who may be have irritable bowel syndrome, who may have vertigo or high blood pressure or diabetes or kidney stones or acne whatever I didn't been through it or know somebody and help somebody go through it I'm in a point in my life where I don't have any disease clean medical record and I just like to help other people get there because I once wondered why why you used to always get the common cold why you used to always be sick all the time why I had the acting, why this particular cream wouldn't work for me, and why, why, why. And I kept answering why, and in my spiritual journey, I realized that God never asks himself a question that he don't already know the answer to. And why, and in my spiritual journey, I realized that God never asks himself a question that he don't already know the answer to. And we are just expressions of God in physical form, having human experiences. And those that are traveling through and passing through that's going to come to this life today are only going to be the people in their subconscious mind that ask why once upon a time. And so today your why will be answered because there's no such thing as coincidence. Nothing just happens here in this physical reality. Everything is perfectly orchestrated. <laughs> Everything. The good and the so-called bad. It all is purposeful. So today I really wanted to talk about um, fasting and if y'all have any questions, I answer questions just like I did on yesterday. I just got a little while. I'm on my way to the store. But I got a I got time. I'm going to give me some um, young coconuts. Coconut water is really, really good for your kidneys. But I wanted to talk about fasting today and the levels of fasting um, that I've been on. I started, hey Molly Mo. I started on my journey on small phases. You know, I do a day, I do three days, I do seven, then I go 14, kind of like 30 was my longest. But this one here is 90 day. No more, like I said, day 63 of that 90 day. And being on this particular phase, I've noticed a difference. Tremendous difference. See, really, it's about your mindfulness, first of all. You really got to master your mind. That's why I feel like the smaller phases are so important. They're so necessary. You got to get through the peer pressures, of li peer pressures of life, you know, like the family. Important. They're so necessary. You got to get through the peer pressures, of li peer pressures of life, you know, like the family. Telling you, come try this, eat this. Or like smelling smelling food in the house you know your little weaknesses your little programs that's telling you wait a minute you're not eating you're gonna get sick if you don't eat you gonna get weak if you don't eat you got to get past all of that and so that's why I think the smaller fasts are so necessary but not only do you have to get past it, that but you got to also educate your mind or your or on what your body really needs while on the fast because when I first started my fast, <coughs> excuse me, when I first started mine, you know, I was just doing water, you know, spring water with um, pink Himalaya sea salts for electrolytes. I was educated about health and wellness, but I wasn't going all the way out with it, like, right? So 
each fast I incorporated something else. So now I'm at a place where I'm doing my pink Himalayan sea salt in my um, sodium bicarbonates in my spring water. I'm doing that. But I'm also incorporating seeded fruit juices, right? Because these seeded fruit juices, fruit is really supposed to be our food. If you look like me, you're a melanated being, you're supposed to really be more into herbal, be more of a herbal war or fruitarian. And honestly, I believe it's a combination of both that really give you that balance. Because it's a combination of alkalinity versus the ascetic things that keep you at a, per, a proper pH balance inside. And now when I'm talking about pH balance right here, I'm talking about the pH balance of your blood, which is supposed to be slightly alkaline in order to be pure, you know, be clean, you know, in order for it to be constantly filtered. And those that alkalinity won't be... Um, havoc on your lymphatic system which is actually supposed to be more acidic and so you won't be having thick tacky blood you won't have to worry about your lymphatic system being overworked is what I'm saying here and so I believe we're supposed to be having a combination of both so I incorporate my fruit juices on this particular fast by drinking the juice of a seeded group grapes for example of seeded cherries for example chalk tart cherry juice and I am drinking also herbal teas the only thing that I'm digesting here is the coconut oils for my healthy fats and it gives me my energy also giving me my amino acids a lot of people would know that to be their so-called protein man I promise you if you go on a fast with those things you cannot get it wrong I promise you the quality of life I promise you the, the skin renewal. I promise you your acne will clear up. I promise you you're going to see some weird things in your bowel movement. I promise you you're going to feel like you're losing pounds. I ain't talking about, you know, everybody got this little New Year resolution type thing that they got going. How about you just do this here? Instead of instead of getting that, that membership talking about, you know, everybody got this little New Year resolution type thing that they got going. How about you just do this here instead of instead of getting that that membership to that gym? How about you do here instead of instead of getting that that membership to that gym? How about you do a fast? You ain't got to do ninety days. You could do as little as seven, little, uh, four. Membership to that gym? How about you do a fast? You ain't got to do ninety days. You could do as little as seven, little, uh, fourteen, seven, maybe even three days. You know, but do it this here way. I promise you, you'll see results. I promise you that when you urinate, your urine will begin to have sediments inside of it. And it will be darker in, it'll be darker in the toilet. You will see the sediments. You will know that your kidneys is now filtering. You will know that your lymphatic system is now filtering. And this is another way you'll know. Not only looking at your urine in the toilet, I'm, I'm coming, I'm going to repeat the um, fruits. I heard you. I saw you. I saw that post. But um, not only will you see the sediments in the toilet, you also see that the car. I saw that post. But um, not only will you see the sediments in the toilet, you also see that the color is darker. It ain't gonna be regular light. Yet. You also see that the color is darker. It ain't gonna be regular light yellow no more. It's gonna be a little darker, kind of like a tan looking color when you're getting rid of all of these acids but here's the thing be regular light yellow no more it's going to be a little darker kind of like a tan looking color when you're getting rid of all of these acids but here's the thing this is also how you're going to know you're going to have a urge to urinate you at, at this point when you clean out your lymphatic system you ain't going to be able to just hold your pee because you got all kind of stones and stuff that's trying to come through because you successfully dil diluted the, um, dilated, I'm sorry, dilated the kidneys and allowed this stuff to pass through. So when it's time to go to the restroom, you need to release. You know, when you got to urinate, you need to release because it's going to be a lot of pressure because you're going to have a lot of now sediments in your urine. Baby, this is a game changer for me. I mean, I never got this deep. On it. And I make these products, um, the Sustain Detox, the Alchemist Oil, my body butters, and I use them religiously. But this is my first time going this long without eating. You know, sometimes, well, 
It depends on how many times you eat. But some of us come up where we eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And so 80% of our immunity lies up in our gut. And if our gut is so busy digesting food, then they don't have time to clean house. They don't have time to clean the walls. So 80% of our immunity lies up in our gut. And if our gut is so busy digesting food, then they don't have time to clean house. They don't have time to clean the walls of the intestines that's got a lot of sluggish in the clean house. They don't have time to clean the walls of the intestines that's got a lot of sluggish or fecal matter just sitting there, right? So sustained detox does that. But I I never been on sustained detox, detox for this duration of time <laughs> without eating is what I'm saying. For this duration of time <laughs> without eating is what I'm saying. When you stop eating it's another level. It's a game changer level. And then when you incorporate the fruit juices to uh, help them kidneys flush out. Man. Okay. I'm, just, I'm excited about what's going on in my life and in 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 helping y'all at the same time. So, okay. I just wanted to get that out. Let me see what y'all say. I missed the fruits um, to use. So, the ones that I'm using is coconut water, young coconuts. If you can't find the okay, if you can't find young coconuts where you're getting the water from, normally those young coconuts be um, less expensive at Asian markets than a whole food store or sprouts. But find you an international market or Asian market and get you some young coconut water. But if you can't find the young coconut water in the fruit itself, then you could get coconut water from the store. But well, you're looking at the ingredients in your coconut water. That's all you want. You don't want no sugar. You don't want no, no kind of coconut water that have other ingredients besides coconut water. Maybe it'll have coconut pulp in there, but you don't want no sugar, no high fructose corn syrup, nothing else. No citric acid, nothing. You just want coconut water. So the coconut water is one. The seeded grape juice. Grapes are gangster for the uh, kidneys. This is why you can't really find seeded grapes because they will heal your body, baby. Okay? This is why you can't find them because they will heal your body. Seeded grapes is the next one. I also drank from Trader Joe's. I'll get mango juice. Only mango juice is in this can. Um, I wish I had one to show you, but at Trader Joe's, they have real mango juice with no other ingredient. But the other things I'm squeezing myself, like tart cherry, cherry, tart, little, little, tart cherry juice. You can find that in a store. But it's good is if you could go and get you some real cherries and squeeze that thing yourself and eat your pulp yourself. That way you know you're getting organic things and water. And so my my herbs or my herbs that I sell, sustain detox on my website, and I make a tea with them. Now, y'all might not be able to make a tea with sustained detox because sustained detox is really, really bitter. Y'all might have to um, put that in a, a veggie capsule and swallow it. I'm used to bitter. I'm used to nasty stuff at this point. I don't eat for taste at this point in my journey. I eat for vitality, you know. I eat for minerals. That's what vi vitamins is really all about, for vitality and for your minerals, vitamins. So I eat kind of like nasty stuff and it could get strong for me sometimes too and i take a break and get the gel capsules too sometimes so those are the herbs that i'm consuming for my sustained detox <laughs> those are the fruit drinks that i'm consuming and outside of that what i'm digesting is coconut oil four things your coconut oil have to have it has to be organic is coconut oil Four things your coconut oil have to have. It has to be organic. It has to be unrefined. It has to be cold pressed. And it has to be extra virgin coconut oil. Don't get the cheap kind. My spring water, it has to have electrolytes and sodium bicarbonate. All of this is stuff that I'm drinking on a 90 day phase. Just drinking. Only thing I'm digesting is my carbonate. All of this is stuff that I'm drinking on a 90-day phase. Just drinking. Only thing I'm digesting is my coconut oil for my healthy fats. So I don't lose so much weight. And so I have my amino acids and 
so I don't lose so much weight. And so I have my amino acids and for any inflammation while my body is healing because coconut oil is anti-inflammatory. Um, I'm also taking it because it, it is the choice oil that will get past the lipid coating on any type of virus. If you have any type of viruses while you're detoxing, coconut oil can help you with that. I also, um, when I warm up my teas, if I warm up a tea, I pour a, two drops of my alchemist oil in my cup here and there. Alchemist oil is two things. This is on my website I'm talking about. It's clove oil and oregano oil mixed together and it's called the alchemist oil. Clove oil is the world's most powerful antioxidant. It too is an antifungal, an antiparasitic, antiviral. Oregano oil, I have the most powerful, potent, wild oregano oil mixed in that alchemist oil. So much so that it will burn through you if you don't dilate it. I mean dilute it. Why well, keep saying dilate and dilute wrong? If you don't dilute it with a carrier oil. So I mix that inside of my... um a little bit of coconut oil and I just set it and let it melt all on top of my hot teas and I drink it warm at the same time game changer if you do that I'm, I'm giving y'all something that I I actually have a transformation course and y'all got really gangsta information right there outside of the transformation course that I sell and I'm telling you this because I'm hopeful that one of you all will try this and change your life forever. I'm giving you this here for free. You want to be over there talking about new year, new me? I dare you to make it a new you. I dare you to make your lifestyle new. Because once you change your health, you're going to change your entire life. Your life, your health is your wealth. Your life going to change forever. Because now you're going to have mental clarity. Now you're going to have more energy. <laughs> Yeah, now you can become more creative with your thoughts. Man, because your gut is tied to everything. Tied to your, your head. Yeah, tied, tied to everything. Your brain. This is why we have gut feelings. It's tied to everything. This is why I believe that, that it's, it's, it's like um, so feelings. It's tied to everything. This is why I believe that, that it's, it's, it's like um, so common to eat so much because nobody wants you to be able to be a free thinker common to eat so much because nobody wants you to be able to be a free thinker nobody wants you to decalcify your pineal gland and tap into the fact that we hold up i'm god in physical form yes the website is www.soulofthepub.org it's in my bio. If you click on my picture, you'll see it there. Hey, how you doing? Hey, hey. Hey, Demi. Let me see. Amino acids from coconut oil. That's where you get your amino acids from. Wait, my phone is getting hot in the sun over there. You get your amino acids from coconut. Coconut oil. Coconut water. Amino acids. They even have coconut vinegar amino acids the coconut vinegar is a uh, probiotic beneficial bacteria in the gut yeah you look familiar like an actress i've seen before beautiful oh thank you <laughs> no i don't i don't act sea moss sea moss is good i honestly i don't like sea moss <laughs> like you know um i've been taking it well you know what I took it. I don't like sea moss. Like, you know, um, I've been taking it. Well, you know what? I took it for about two weeks on my fast. I used to put it, sea moss gel, on my face for two weeks. Because every two weeks on my face, I've been switching to do something different. So, um, I put sea moss on my face, you know, to, to tighten up my face, you know, lines or whatever that I have. Well, they, they really small now. Anyway, yeah, sea moss is really good with helping you produ uh, produce collagen. That's why I will put it on my face for the ladies that that want to do that. Um, I was consuming it in my um, 
in my tees so when my tees was really really hot and I think that was week two through four that I did that and I would put agave in it to make it taste better and stuff but sea moss is really really good I won't knock it it's really really good it's a filler you know and when I was cooking for the people that came to see me for the holidays I put sea moss in the food for them you know bulked up their food made sure that they had their minerals but I just don't like it. I'm, I'm just saying. I don't, I don't use it all the time. And I don't think it's something that you should use all the time either. I think you should maybe every other day or so. I don't think it's something every day we should be consuming. Unless you're really, really mineral deficient or deprived. Like after maybe um, like chemo or something like that. But yeah. And you got to make sure you get it from a proper source. If you go to Etsy, ETSY.com. You know, they got a lot of people on there that sell things, but I would pick a vendor from Etsy that lives like in Jamaica or somebody, uh, somewhere like that. And you could actually click on the store of where their shop is and find out their location on Etsy. That's what I like about Etsy. So you know it's coming from maybe somebody out there in Jamaica. Like I wouldn't order CMOS from somebody that I know that live in Mississippi. Like where you got that from? <laughs> you know, not up, not up in the home. Um, in the golf <laughs> I want that kind of see more yeah hey how you doing hey Oracle yeah your majesty hi hi how y'all doing today so yeah see more so let me go back up it's freezing up I'm still freezing hey just be hey ten my god I want to do this but I'm a diabetic not sure diabetic man NJ diabetic diabetic you know the word diet is in that that in there diabetic diet diabetic has everything to do with diet I promise you that's how you got there diet if you don't do anything baby change your diet because that's how you became a diabetic come on now <laughs> yeah oh thank you granny <laughs> thank you i love my skin i'm so happy about my skin that was the biggest thing i got from this particular um phase my skin being renewed but nj diet i promise you diet and so i would i would start with the lymphatic system with the lymphatic system making sure that that's clear like with with the things that i'm talking about on my face you could even incorporate them things while you're still eating even if you're not on the fast to take the load off and try to cut back on those things that those um foods that turn into so much sugar you gotta cut back on that and that's like the breads that's like the potatoes yeah the breads have gluten inside of them that's sticking to the walls of your intestines you got to cut back on things like that and of course you get white sugars right diet them heavy meats diet it takes us about three days melanated beans take longer to digest like heavy bloody steaks because our digestive system is not equal to that of other lighter hued beans diet so cut back on that hard bread, that them, them pastas, that, that all of that white rice. Diet. Diet. You need, you need some life force. Diet. You need some herbs up in there, some hemp seeds up in there. Hemp seeds are plentiful in magnesium. You need some pine nuts in your salads. You need some real salt instead of the white salt. White salt is only two minerals. Real salt is pink Himalayan sea salt that has 80 plus minerals. You could also, as a diabetic, you the one that need to be doing the sea moss. I mean, I just said that I don't like it, but I mean, I'm, I'm more cleaner at this point. Not judging or anything, but I have a cleaner diet and I could skip, you know, days off of sea moss and stuff. But for a diabetic, I strongly suggest you, you do things like that, sea moss. Put it in your food. Like if you if you just because you know some of them diabetics, some of y'all whole headed. I ain't talk about you, but I know some here in the physical reality. Some of them diabetics are whole headed. They don't want to change nothing about their life. 
But if you ain't, if you ain't won't let go of something, at least try to add, sneak in and add some CMOS to your gravy as you're thickening your food, you know. If you ain't trying to let go of nothing, at least add some pink Himalaya salt and, and throw away the white salt because it's, it's causing high blood pressure, you know. You need all the minerals and the electrolytes that you can get. If you ain't go, if you ain't go change nothing, at least, you know, add another drink up in your refrigerator, some key lime aid. And that's just key lime juice, squeeze a couple of key limes, water, spring water, and some, some agave as a sweetener. Now you got a key lime aid. Now now that's a that, that drink there is really delicious. You put that up in the refrigerator, make a gallon of it, put it in the refrigerator, and you drink a large glass once a day. Then that's that's taking a load off of your um kidneys right there. That's helping you clean out your lymphatic system. The agave inside of that, that's a prebiotic. Now you got good beneficial bacteria in your gut. Then you get you some real spring water. And in, in, in being that it's spring alkaline water, that's going to soothe your kidneys too. From all them acids that it's trying to get rid of to save your life, it's going to soothe your kidneys. Try to do those things. Even if you if you going to be a hard-headed, not you. I'm thinking about a hard-headed, actually, family member in my mind. If you're going to be a hard-headed person like that, at least save your life some kind of way. Add some things. At least go on the website, purchase some of that alchemist oil at least in the morning get you some coconut oil and put your two drops of that alchemist oil in your mouth in your food on top of your food to melt that way now you got three three antifungals in there the alchemist oil have two things it have clove and it have oregano then if you mix it because you got to mix it because it's really really powerful you got to mix it with a carrier oil and you use your coconut oil you mix them three things together now you got the world's most powerful antioxidant you got anti-inflammatory antiviral antimicrobial antifungals all mixed together in one thing that you just digesting at least get something in there going to help to save your life it's all i'm saying because some of y'all i'm really passionate about what i do but some of y'all hard-headed some of y'all even in my family hard-headed and some of y'all probably just sit there and you just look and you just gather this information. You just know these things, but you ain't doing nothing. It's a, it's a difference between knowing and doing. You see? You know, some, some, some people that's been following me for the longest, oh, yeah, yeah, I got to check out your website. And I'm like, baby, you, that's your health. You don't have to tell me that every time. That's your health. You, 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 that's your health, your quality of life. The real thing comes, the real change comes when you make the change. You're the operant power. And you, you, you're helping you. I'm retired. I'm living my best life. This is just my passion. Don't think this is a favor for me. This is just my passion that I come on here. Because I, I'm, I'm living my best life. And I want you to live your best life. That's it. This is really just from my heart to yours. Sharing my story. I got, I got people at my house. I'm at the park talking to you all. Why are people at my house? Because this is my passion. This ain't me. This ain't no get money rich scheme. This ain't my income right here. This is love right here. And when you find people that love you and that take time to talk to you and teach you, and when the person can share their life with you, share their journey with you, they can be all that they have, baby. You give ear and, 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 and be a doer. I want you to have good soil like they talk about in the biblical text. The person that, that, that the parable about having good soil, that's you being ready for that seed to grow. So you don't be rinsing and repeating with diabetes every year. Like, okay, if you get it, how is it staying there? How are we not getting better from that? Our nails are growing back. Our hair is growing back. Our skin is shedding. Our, our digestive system is, is shedding. Every three to five days, it, it turns over and sheds. Even our kidney and our everything inside of us is reproducing. Our cells, we even have cellular waste. They're releasing waste and being renewed or dying and being cast away. Depending upon what you're putting inside of your mouth, what you're putting inside of your mind, it's all because of you being the operant power. Either you're spiraling up with more life or you're spiraling downward cycle to death. But choose you today to experience life. Experience life, baby. That's all I want for you. <laughs>
Okay, let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Love your accent, Mr. Fruits. I gave the fruits back again. Okay. All right. Well, that's really what I wanted to share with you all. I encourage you all to visit the website and, and check out the Sustained Detox. Drink water if you purchase it. Drink your citrus fruit if you purchase it. If you purchase the Alchemist Oil, I sent out all of the orders already for today, but if you purchase the Alchemist Oil, please dilute the Alchemist Oil. Don't think you you a soldier with the Alchemist Oil. It's really, really powerful. It's really, really powerful. So you have to use the carrier oil with it. For those that purchased, I... um. I had a lot of the Be Nourish um, body washes that went out today. The Alchemist oil is inside of the Be Nourish body wash, so you going to feel your body on a cellular level through your skin, which is the Lord's organ. you going to feel that penetrating in your body as well. Love you and thank you for sharing. Hey, Ladybug. Thank you for being here. The natural order, the rhythm of life. You right about that? You are so right about that. So, yeah, this is just my passion, y'all. I just love, love, love helping people. Out of all the products, I say, even on my consultations, I say all the time, my, it's my consultations that I love the most. It's me sitting up there talking to other people and inspiring other people that I love the most. I get in my little rhythm, in my zone and everything when I'm making my products. I have my music going on and I be like in the so-called vortex like of my mind. And I have a great time. I have a great time sending out my, my orders because I send out, every, I do all of this myself. Because I want my energy, my hands, my love to be transferred on my products too. But it's out of all of the things that I make, it's me having that relationship with those people. It's me being able to communicate and consult with those people. It's those people telling me that they had a good report from the doctor. Because you know what it is? Oh, I'm about to get emotional. Oh, I could feel it. You know what it is? It was when I was younger. When I was younger, when I was a little girl, and, and I used to always have sickness and so-called disease. I mean, I'm talking about horrible cramps. I'm talking about acne. I'm talking about my stomach used to stay in knots and everything. And it was, a, it was a point in my life when my mama used to always take me to the doctor. Now, mind you, all sickness and disease starts in the spiritual realm. It starts in the spiritual realm first from, from things you've been and went through, like trauma and stuff like right? And so, as a little girl, my little so-called trauma was that I didn't have my father in my life, right? And I was holding on to hate in my heart. So, like all of these sickness and diseases, it, 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 in the spiritual realm, it starts when you have that hate. And you think you think that you don't have to love and all of these different things, like, right? But I didn't know that then. I wasn't spiritual then. I was just a little church going, girl, just asking Jesus, why? Jesus, if you just help me, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And so, one day in my life, I dared, just with religion, I dared to be different. I was known as a person that was a backslider in, 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 in religion because I was like, no, it's something about this here praying and asking and begging Jesus and everybody I see in church and get healed. These people love God so much, but they're hurting so bad. And so I did to be different with religion. And so when I was still getting sick and old, and I, one day I forgave my father. And I, I, and I called him on the phone and I told him, I was like, you know what? I want you to know it would have felt so beautiful had you been in my life had you been to both of my graduations had you showed up even if it was just showing your face at my wedding it would have been beautiful for you to know my favorite color for you to be able to be there for me but I want you to know that I love you simply because you are my father now during this moment in my life I ain't know nothing about no spirituality. All I knew is that I just wanted to be different. I wanted no longer to hold on to hurt and pain in, in my heart. And so I energetically on that moment released the barbed wire events that was around my heart. That inability to love and be able to open my mouth and show emotions and show feelings. You know, because I used to really be an introvert. 
and I suffered during that time with thyroid issues because I was never speaking my truth. Spiritually, in the spiritual realm, I was not speaking my truth because I kept saying I didn't eat my daddy. I kept saying that I was going to be all right. I kept saying, I don't care. I'm going to be all right. So what? You know, just holding stuff in. But when I released that energetically with him, with him and when I start, sought spirituality and I, I realized one thing. I realized that energetically I was causing, I, I was playing the victim, but I was causing this because of that hate. See, when you sit up there and you hate and you hold on to grief and fear and envy and jealousy and all these different things. I'm talking about the physical here with you all telling you what herbs to pick. But it's deeper than that. It's a spiritual thing. When you hold on to that hate and that enviousness and, 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 that, and that jealousy and don't want to talk to nobody and speak your truth, you are clogging up your chakra pools of energy. I didn't know nothing about that back then. I didn't know. But when I did those things and forgave my father and became this holistic healer and herbalist, I realized that love, love is so freaking important. Love. And then, and then I began to understand the spiritual side of why in the biblical text it says, To love the Lord thou God with all of your heart. That's the love of yourself is what they talk about. Because where is the kingdom of God? It is within you. And why the second commandment is for you to love your neighbor as yourself? Because guess what? The neighbor is a reflection of yourself. Why also in that biblical text that love heals all? Yes, because even in this act of you go and find the herb that correlates with your healing, that's love for self. That's you doing something or chore for self. That's you edifying the church within the self. I want you to get to know that. That's you getting to know thyself. And to know thyself is to know God. I want you to understand that part. Because it's not all about picking up the coconut oil. It's not all about the sea moss, baby. Because they got some people in the physical reality that, that'll digest coconut oil. And it in the in, in because of where they are in their journey, ain't nothing gonna help them. Because they're full of hate. They're full of doubt. The coconut oil ain't gonna be good enough. The sea moss, oh, well, it, it was all right, they'll say. Oh, it made me feel full. And I don't really, I don't really want food with it because it ain't the season. They gotta go through and realize that they gotta just be like that prodigal son and humble themselves and return back to the bosom of God. And what is God? God is like the most powerful form of energy of love that there is. So in all of your doing, all of your herbal buying from me, and then with all of your life-changing New Year resolution stuff, remember love. Remember, find something to love. See, right here, this is my passion, and I love this. I'm on, I'm right here. I'm in front of a park near in my neighborhood. But this is love that got me here talking to you. I want you to understand love heals all baby so if there's somebody that that may have hurt you when you were a little girl this is why i do consultations because it be them core things it's like we be hiding our hurt our wound and everything underneath the onion and there's so many different layers of the onion that you gotta pull back to realize why you act the way that you act as a as an adult but that little girl if you were molested that little girl if daddy or mama wasn't there she is still in there hurting and feeling some kind of way and she needs you to love Love on her because without you loving her you ain't gonna heal without you loving her or him you ain't gonna get better because you are not gonna leave her behind you are tied to her for eons and eons so remember that remember to give her attention remember to treat her right remember to ask her how she's feeling remember her or remember him Rewrite the story for her or him so that he or her can heal too. Or you'll just be a person that's just taking all kind of herbs and saying this ain't working, this ain't working. Hell no, it ain't going to work because of love is the thing that heals all. You got to learn how to love yourself. You got to learn how to sift through those thoughts. You got to learn how to rewrite that story. Because that story, when you were a little girl or a little boy, is sending a signal out. It's signal, sending a signal out. I'll tell you what my story is, was rather. My story being that daddy was not there. 
my story was sending a signal that I was broken, that I felt unworthy. And because I was broadcasting that signal to my subconscious mind, <laughs> the universe had to yield to me dis-ease. Oh yeah, I had to experience disharmony. Because my signal said disharmony and dis-ease. I want you to get this in your journey of health and wellness. If your signal says disharmony and dis-ease, so shall it be. Because your word cannot come back to you void, God. It must come back. <laughs> the way that you sent it out to be. So you sending out disease, so shall it be. Because a lot of people, when you get sick, I understand when you're hurting and you're in your pain, you become the meanest little grumpiest ace people in the world. But guess what, mean person? You're sending out a signal. You're sending out a signal of disease, mean person. I just want you to know that. So you better fix that signal. You better fix that signal. If you want to experience it, you have to first become it before you can experience anything in this physical reality. Or you want to be a rich, you have to sit there in your human imagination and imagine what it feels like to be free. Abundance. Just when I wanted to raise higher, I had to be on that job as a senior engineer associate in corporate America in New Orleans and pretend I was here. <laughs> free. I had to be free already in order for me to get here to be free. When I was sick, I wanted to be healthy. So I, in the midst of my cramps, in the midst of my acne, in the midst of my vertigo, in the midst of me wearing glasses because my digestive system was chaotic, in the midst of all of the painful periods, I had to use my human imagination and say, oh, I'm getting better. I could feel me getting better now. I know I'm not going to be like this always. In order for me to get here, and when I was there, I said, this is your story. I just thought about it. I said, when I get better, because I didn't have nobody to bring me out, I'm going to be that voice to help somebody else. I just want to help people. I said, when I was sick, I just want to be here to help people that don't know. Because when I came up in church, I was always the little usher. I was a little nosy little usher. And in the healing and deliverance line, they would call for people that were sick. And they would talk to the apostles or the pastors who I was assistant to. And, and they would tell them all about their sicknesses and disease. And I was listening. And I was saying as a little girl, I said, when I grew up. I had that little red cape in my hand to draw on them if they caught the Holy Ghost. But I said in my inner voice, when I grow up, I don't want to be like these people. But I'm going to help these people because something just ain't right. We doing something wrong. <laughs> and it became my passion and when I ran away from church I didn't realize that I was running into spirituality I didn't realize I was running into holistic help and I landed here where I am today and I'm doing the very thing that the little girl inside of me said that she was going to do help them people <laughs> that's beautiful that's my story Woo. anyway yeah Hospitals full of them. Yeah, you're right about that. Well, you're not at ease. You draw to yourself dis-ease. You said that. That's a mouthful right there. You really do. And people don't realize it. But we could see. It'd it be subconscious to them. They don't see it. But we could, we could, I know for me, I'm a seer. I could see it immediately. When people call me for consultations, immediately I know. I know when they open up their mouth. I'm like, ooh. Because it's like a, it's like a story. When I say hi to somebody in, in, in a physical reality, I could see. I could read them. I could read them. <laughs> but to that person, they're walking around like if somebody was a seer and they saw me as a little girl, they would have saw my dis-ease. They would have saw that I was holding on to how I really felt. They would have saw that that introverted way of thinking or being was just a, just a little thing that I was telling myself in order for me to not speak my truth. For me to just shut my mouth. Oh yeah, I'm an introvert. You know, you, 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 you know. Yeah, some of them introverts out there are hurting people. 
Some of them, you know, the ones that's like, you know, I'm trying to, I ain't trying to be around all them people. You know, I got to protect my energy. From what, God? From what? If you got, what, what, what does the God that you reverence today, what does it look like for God? Or your Jesus, if you believe in that, I ain't telling you what to believe in. If your Jesus was to crack the sky right now, and he came down with, with, with COVID, and he came down like, no, don't, don't, don't talk to me. I'm an introvert. No, I got to protect my energy. What would what, what, what your Jesus look like saying he protecting his energy? Like, make that stuff make sense. Make it make sense. And, to, and I, can, I can speak now because I'm speaking to my reflections. I've been there. I did that. I called that. I called that what, uh, introvert. I used that, that, oh, I'm shy kind of energy. No, you're not speaking your truth. No, you're holding on to this ease. You can play that with somebody that ain't been an introvert already. Play that with somebody who ain't experienced this ease already. Just like the people, I, was, I did a video... And it was like, name something that was a scam. And, and now pe a lot of people are still doing it. And, and in so many words, I was talking about, you know, the pills I was talking about. And I also talked about maybe the, the eyeglasses or, and cancer and stuff like that. And I have people up in the, in the comments talking about, yeah, well, I disagree because my daddy, you know, you know, writing essays. My daddy, he had high blood pressure and da 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 da. And I've been wearing glasses since I was two. I told one of them, I was like, okay, is this your excuse? It's just your excuse to, to say the same? Like, why are you writing me an essay, baby? If you ain't about to change nothing about your life, then that's fine, baby. Go find that tribe that like to keep you where you are, stagnated with your energy. But energy, just like the sun, every, if you look at the seven-day forecast, it ain't gonna never be the same every day. Energy fluctuates. Energy changes. <laughs> We're supposed to be growing and evolving this way. Remembering this way. Not forgetting this way. <laughs> Not this way. It's a spiral up. <laughs> we're evolving and remembering who we once were. And then all you're getting, get an understanding that, okay, you ha may have a box. And it's okay, I had a box. But outside of your box, baby, I want you to know one thing. That there's a boundless universe out there. And where you can be, do, or have anything when you put your mind to it. You could have that prosperity you want. You could have that, that new clean bill of health that you want. You could have that new house, that new car, whatever it is, whether it is for your soul edification or if it's for, if it's for something materialistic. It don't matter. You're God. You could have anything because you are everything, but at the same time, no thing. <laughs> I want you to understand and get to know you. Because if you're just twiddling your fingers and just existing as a, as a mailman, as a, as a post a uh, worker or, or, or garbage truck man or clerk or even if you're a president or a CEO or something real, real fancy in corporate America it really don't matter because the real game of life is about getting to know thyself <laughs> the real test of time is what did you do to edify your church like you could you can't take those things to other realms but this here this here mental stimulation this here opening up this third eye this here finding out that health is your wealth open up your third eye and getting more clairvoyant this here tapping into other realms and other dimensions this here connection with your inner being that that has been guiding you for eons and eons this here you can take to other realms and other dimensions every level of the game you're gonna need this so you might as well get off of level one use your use your controller learn your superpower and let's go to another level <laughs> and this is how you get to another level you gotta clear that mind you gotta allow the right and left brain to connect the subconscious and the conscious mind the marriage of the bride and the groom <laughs> you, you really gotta really understand what that biblical text was telling you that you are the Christ you are the Christ conscious one from the atom you started off as to the Christ conscious one it is you now you can spend your days, if you want to, experiencing dis-ease. But the whole point was for you to die of the old way of being in order for you to be resurrected to your higher self. And this is how you start. It's a mind game. It's a mental game. <laughs> no matter if you tell me no today and get off this lie mad at me, butt hurt because I said something that's outside of your box, it don't matter. 
you still going to get it. <laughs> Your day still going to come. This might just be the thought stimulating day for you. But guess what? You'll be back. Even if it be another lifetime, you'll be back. Because there's so many different detours. But you'll be back. And then you'll remember, oh, they had this lady. She had a little red drawstring and a little, in a little hoodie. She was sitting in a car. And she had a little white little earring. Oh, I remember she was trying to tell me this. Because this is being embedded in your subconscious mind for when you need to know this information. Because nothing just happens. Nothing. Out of all the people in the world that showed up, you are the ones that needed to hear this part of this message because no thing just happens. This is a game of life. Play the win. Stop twiddling your fingers and remember the kingdom of God is within you. Respect your avatar self. Take care of your body. Your cells are alive. You are the operant power for your body. You are the operant power for all of those reflections that's out there. Every thought that you have of them, they must conform to it. So my suggestion to you is think better thoughts. If you are at low frequency and you're eating chaotic foods, I would suggest for you to clean up your temple. Because as within, so without. You ain't going to be able to see your reflections at and harmony if there is no harmony within you so this is why I teach you about health and wellness I teach mindfulness I know all is mine but a lot of people in the physical reality their mind and their attention span is not there so I like to start and meet people where they are a lot of people are chaotic in their mind and in their gut and if they have a whole bunch of parasites or disease and sickness in their gut they haven't got feelings and it's going to their mind and they're not going to be the type of person that's going to be able to sit there and meditate they probably already left this life they probably have no attention span the but you get to a place in your journey where you understand this. Or you might be getting to this place where you get real, real sick or get a real, real bad report from the doctor. And those are the ones that's ready. Those are the ones that have good, good soil and they dare to do something different because they know darn well that the old way of doing it was not working for them. And if you are one of them, take care of your body. Listen to what I'm giving you for free. Because I ain't trying to get nothing out of you. I'm trying to give because I understand. I'm in a place in my journey where I understand that it is, feels so damn good. It is more blessed to give than it is to receive. I just want to leave a legacy behind for my family. But this year, what y'all getting right here is just an overflow, baby. <laughs> this is my overflow. But if you have ears and good soil, I suggest you listen. Whew, that came from the depths of my soul. Whew. Absolutely correct. Yes, all is mine. True, the marriage and supper of the Lamb. Oh, you, you, you own to that, huh? <laughs> Look at you. I'm so proud of you and your journey. Yes, ma'am. All is mine. Three eyes for the Trinity. Yeah. You give me cheers listening to you with tears in my eyes. So powerful. Yeah. Blacks. That's a big girl. Is that black? Smaller than God. The race is in the last. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, Dion. Yo, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, yo, Jesus. Mm -hmm. I ain't trying to take nobody Jesus from him. Hey, how you doing, babe? Hey, Coach Renee. Thank you for being here. Yeah. I look like it came from the day. It looked like, yeah, it really did. That came from deep. My inner being wanted that to get out. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, that's it for today. Thank you all for your support. I'm just leaving the, um, the post office for those of you who were in here and had ordered i sent out all the orders up until um 12 noon unless you ordered after that but anyway i got people at my house y'all i gotta give